Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my hair and makeup routine. So let's go ahead and jump on in and put on some makeup. I start off by putting on concealer. This is number 325 from L'Oreal Paris. And I always have to do this because I have quite dark circles around my eyes, even if I'm not tired. So I'm using this every day. I always call myself a panda <laughs> if I don't. And now I'm gonna put on my BB cream. This is also from L'Oreal Paris. It's the light to medium SPF 20. And I don't use this every day, but I'm gonna apply it today. I never use foundation because I feel I want to let my skin breathe. And also I never found the right one. So maybe if you have a good foundation and you want to give me that tip, you can leave it in the comments below. But today I'm using this BB cream to make my skin look more smooth. By the way, I am by no means a makeup artist and I'm just showing you today what I use on a daily basis. And I thought it would just be fun to show you the products that I use and the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So now I'm gonna put on eyeshadow and this is the palette from Nikki Tutorials and this is my favorite color and that's what I'm using today and as you can see my little boy Oliver he thought it would be funny to paint with it and mix the colors and I was not very happy about that but as you can see I am just applying this with my fingers and it's very easy and it covers so well. So for the next step, we're applying eyeliner and I'm using uh, this eyeliner from Rimmel London. It is the Wonder Ink. And as you can see, what I always like to do is pull the corner of my eye down a little bit and then apply the eyeliner from the outside to the inside. And then when you let go of your hand, uh, you will see you created a wing. Now for mascara, I like to, to use Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. It is my all-time favorite and it's very affordable. It's only 10 euros and it's on sale quite a lot as well. I like to use a lash curler and I always leave it for five seconds and then I apply two layers of mascara for extra volume. And to make my eyes pop and for a little dramatic effect, I'm using this eyeliner from Chanel Paris and I apply it in the bottom corner of my eyes on both sides and it's just a little touch to make your eyes pop. Now I'm gonna put on some lipstick and it's number 222 from Maybelline New York. Now I'm using this powder from Garlin and it's number two for natural blondes. And when I apply it, I always like to contour a little bit as well. If you're looking for a good bronze powder, I would definitely recommend this one. It is my all time favorite and I have been using it for years. So now that I put my face on, I'm gonna do my hair. 
and I'm gonna curl it today. So first of all, I'm gonna use the Revlon Unique One hair treatment. That's this one. It's just for protection because I'm gonna use heat, obviously. And what I'm using to curl my hair is the Philips curler and I am in love with it. I will look it up for you and put a link in the description box. Um, but it's very easy to curl your hair with this. This is where I turn it on and the button up here is going to show you which way the curl is going to go. So I'm going to start on my left so I'm going to slide the button to the left. So now I'm just going to get a string of hair. Give it one twist and put it in the curler and always make sure that the this side is against your head. This way you don't burn your head because this side's open and this side's closed. So I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna press the button and now I'm gonna wait for the beep. That's my sign, so now I'm gonna take it out. I think. So now that I did the first two strings near to my face, I did them to the left, but now I'm gonna switch it up and put it on the middle like this. So it will curl to the left once and then curl to the right and this way it looks very natural. So as you can see, I divided my hair in two. I'm done with the left side now and I'm gonna move on to the right. And what I love about this curler is that you don't have to put up your arms like this and you get sore arms. So that's one thing I love about it. And also you're not gonna burn yourself, not your fingers and not your head because it's all tucked away in there. So now I'm at the last few strings on the right, so I'm going to push the button to the right. So now I'm all done and I'm gonna wait for my curls to cool off before I go through it with my fingers. But I'm very happy with this. I would definitely recommend it. I have had many curling irons because I love to curl my hair, but this is the best one so far and definitely the easiest one. So if you're looking for a good curling iron, this is definitely it. So now that my curls are cooled off, I'm gonna run through it with my fingers like this. 
just a little bit. It's important to wait until the curls are cooled off before you do this. This way the curls will stay in your hair all day. I'm gonna push it up a little bit like this. And now I'm gonna put in some hairspray. This is the hairspray I use. And now I'm gonna lift up my hair a little bit like this to create a bit more volume before I'm gonna spray it. So now I'm gonna spray a little hairspray all over my curls and because I want my hair to stay up, I'm gonna put my hairspray down like this so that is how i do my hair and makeup don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye Thank <laughs> you.